Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. It is Tuesday, and we've got 14 orders going out this morning. Um, it was a slow sales day all the way up to like six o'clock yesterday, and then uh, I did send out some 10% offers, and then some other people just bought stuff, uh, and it ended up being a pretty decent little sales day especially considering I haven't been listing near as much or we haven't been listing near as much. I mean, I'm listing some, but like for instance, yesterday I only listed eight things for $186. Just to give you an example, <laughs> that which was not great. It was the best I could do though yesterday. Had a lot of stuff to pack. I'm gonna try and get all those records finished today. Uh, Candace and I, Candace actually found something to buy yesterday. I went out last night and picked it up I'm hoping she'll come out in the shed with us in a little while um, after I get orders out and we can show y'all together what she found. It was a pretty good buy though, pretty good deal. But uh, yeah, we have 14 things going out. And like I said, we listed, or not we, I gotta try to figure out when to say we and me and I and us. Trying to get the, trying to get the pronouns right. <laughs> um, but no, listed, Speaking of listing records, sold a record. This one right here. Actually, I think we might have sold a, another record or two. I don't know. But uh, the first one that I'm pulling is Rush Power Windows. This record sold for $29.99 plus shipping on top. And um, the records, if y'all didn't see that video, bought 24 records at a garage sale for 50 cents a piece. Um, on Friday or Saturday, I can't remember which, and this was one of them. So we're already in the profit after selling one record. Pretty cool. And this is something that I sent an offer out, offer to watch her out on at 10%, I think. It's a cool belt buckle. It's just not in the best of condition. 16, 19 plus shipping on top for that. Okay, to give you an example of how slow sales were earlier in the day, uh, this sale, really nice sale by the way, happened, let's see, D24. This sale happened at, I wanna say about eight o'clock or so. And then a bunch of other sales came in right after this. It's weird how the, the floodgates can open up sometimes see and then i have one more in digimon i looked we have we had 30 digimon left prior to that sale so we're down to 27 digimon and um yeah these are all three going to mexico on ebay ebay international delivery on three bravo sold a cookbook called Louisiana Entertains, this one right here. This sold for $13.49 plus ship. That's a new little niche for us getting into cookbooks. It's been working out pretty well so far. And over here on CC7, this sold a bat. This is a little mini, uh, probably a stadium giveaway I'm guessing for the Colorado Rockies in the year 2000. This sold for $8.99 plus shipping on top. And we gotta go back to the vinyl box again because we sold another record. So this one right here, Tears for Fears. Songs from the big chair. In the shrink with the hype sticker. Vinyl is in good shape too. Sold this for $39.99 plus shipping on top. Smalls drawer, we sold some Sailor Moon cards. Supposed to be in here. I thought they would be so big I wouldn't be able to miss them, but appears that's not the case. Where are they? Oh, here they are. This little cube, this little stack of uh, square Sailor Moon things. This sold for 45, took an offer on this by the way, $45 plus ship for those. And pocket 35. Let's see, uh, it's gonna be on this back side, I think. Yeah, I see him. Sold this guy. This guy's really cool. 
Look at him. Look how, look how he's wearing. He, he only has boots on his two front legs. That's weird. Uh, this is Blue Falcons Dino Mutt. Uh, this sold for 2024. This little guy is from 1977. And look, he's got a little loop right there. So I don't know if he was meant to be a keychain or something or what. Two Delta. This is uh, this is something that sold actually once about I want to say it was a year ago. It's the electric knife. And the people that bought it, the lady that bought it, she claimed she bought it for her husband. And um, he had already bought one. So she returned it. So it was just a remorse return, which was fine. Because, I mean, I had returns on. Um, and then she just returned it just like it was. Like, it, it had never been opened. I, I was positive it had never been opened. Because it was packed just like when I sent it. Uh, so I just relisted it and got 22.94 plus shipping on top uh don't buy those by the way i paid five dollars for it and ended up selling it for a profit but it just wasn't enough really last time going to the vinyl box today for an order pull anyway i am going to come back over here and uh list some more records later here we go Bruce Springsteen, born in the USA. This sold for $15.99 plus ship. I ran to the house to grab these uh, Walmart pens because Candace, Candace picked out some. Actually, she started drafts on in a new box. She started a new box and then created drafts for all these, which I need to photograph today. And she did these also that are going to go in here. I actually photographed and uh, completed these drafts last night. And then we did sell a couple um, last night also. 30 and 48. And I think those are ones that I actually photoed last night. So there's a lot of 2 and 30 and then 48 I think. Yeah, it's in here too. And I need to go ahead and put these in there. So, but yeah, these both sold on the same order. As you can see on the screen there we did sell a comic book too comic book number 20 it's always kind of interesting oh okay i think it's going to be right up here i was going to say it's always kind of interesting uh trying to find these comics because <laughs> they have all those different numbering conventions another really nice condition comic 15 cent comic at that. That's an old one. $21.59 plus shipping on top for that. Then Pocket 71. Right here. This is one of those Bull Terrier pins. Sold this one for $9.99. It looks like it has some discoloration on it. Because normally Candace was listing those for $14.99. She did that one a little cheaper. And CC10 sold a and r2d2 with comtech chip this is from episode one uh this guy sold for how much 8.99 plus ship and last thing we sold a pocket shrine this one right here sold for 18 dollars and 74 cents plus shipping on top and get all this stuff packed and get this uh bag out there for my carrier to pick up okay so i just finished editing some video and now i'm on the phone with ebay i'm uh i got a i talked about it the other day but i got a negative feedback for a nintendo zapper gun the zapper guns don't work with modern tvs you have to have a crt and uh the customer left a negative feedback because it wouldn't work with his lcd and uh now i'm trying to get it removed the the rep was really nice. I asked them ahead of time, like when the call first started, I said, are you are you familiar with like old school Nintendo or Duck Hunt or anything? And he was. So whenever I was telling him what was going on, it made it a lot easier. He said he's gonna put in for a feedback uh, revision, I guess on eBay's side to remove the feedback. So fingers crossed, I hope he does it. Guess who is out here in the shed with us? Hey y'all, <laughs> I don't, have you told him what's going on? No, 
So, well, yeah, I did. I told him you were under the weather. Yeah, under the... Uh, so today is Tuesday. The last time I was on the video was Saturday. We went and picked up some, uh, we found a few things at a garage sale and we kind of showed y'all. Um, so that was last Saturday and I was starting to feel good. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be ready to go back in the shed Monday. And then Sunday I came down like this head respiratory virus just hit me. Which is crazy because, I mean, I haven't really been around people to get sick. It's just, Well, anytime you have a kid in school, though. Yeah, you, the, our little snotty nose Molly probably brought something. Snotty Molly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, today's Tuesday. I've been sick since Sunday. I'm still not. If, if uh, it wasn't for you being sick, you're, so you're saying if it wasn't for you being sick, you would have been probably done like a half day or at something. least a half, yeah because i mean but for my surgery i'm feeling fine you know mm -hmm. um i'm going tomorrow for my two-week post-op checkup we're gonna see how that goes how everything's healing up and then um i think my fever actually broke today so okay I'll, hopefully i'll be ready to go tomorrow or thursday okay. so anyway the reason i'm out here is because since I've been in bed so much, I just, I've been like staying on Facebook Marketplace looking for things. It's been tough. Like people don't answer you or they say, yeah, it's available. And then you try to set a meet up and they just kind of keep blowing you off. It's just, it's hard. I found this um, listing about a week ago and it took several days to even get the guy to respond. He was out of town hunting or something. He was. Yeah. <laughs> he told me. So, um, anyway, we're going to show you what we found. It, it's 13 pieces. Um, he had it all listed for 500 And I know in the past, sometimes, like, I saw some Mr. Christmas stuff, and I know some of that stuff can be really good money. So, I sat down with his <coughs> picture, and I looked up each individual piece. And, um, barring that they all work, which he said they did, that's, that's the chance you take with Marketplace. Uh, I came up with $935 um, is the eBay selling price and he was asking $500 and, and his listing he said I have more than pictured I, like Facebook wouldn't let me put up more pictures I'm thinking okay that's weird um, so I message him and um, he, he finally messaged me back and he goes I thought I had more but I don't so I said, okay, well, um, that's a little more than I wanted to pay for what you have pictured. I was hoping there was more. Thank you anyway. And then I didn't, I didn't say anything else. And then he came back. He's like, okay, since so I'm ready to get rid of the stuff. And since it's Christmas, how about 250? He like slashed it in half without me even asking. So I'm like, okay. And then 20 minutes later, I find myself going to go pick the stuff up at this guy's shop. Yeah. He only lived like five minutes away. Yeah, he's like really close, five minutes away. I was still sick. Um, and I'm like, I was trying to set up for Lonnie to come during the day today, but he works. He's like, tomorrow night, I said, if we're home tonight, he can come and get it. So yeah, he went and picked it up last night. And I'll, most of them have their boxes. Their boxes are in rough shape. So usually when that's the case, we'll either um, not include it, or if we think it'll help with extra packing, we'll just include it, but not show it in the photos. Right. So that it'll kind of just help with the packing. Yeah, but not, we've done that. Not really even disclose that it's included. Right, and then, then if they're like, oh, the box is crappy, well, you didn't even know you were getting a box. Right, right, you know? right. Sometimes, sometimes we do that. Sometimes... Like, I would probably photo this box, but like here's one of the pieces. Yeah. See, it's upside down in there. Yeah. Looks like it's it's a it's a little moving thing. It's got the it's like the nativity scene. Um, it's like we have several big pieces. Yeah. No, these are huge. Yeah. I don't mind. I won't mind packing these though. They won't be too bad. This one's cool. It's like um this pond with a fountain what? in the middle and the boats go around it. Right. yeah let's so take a look inside we have some really cool pieces he said his he said his mother-in-law would set them all up on some big table every year and they would all be going at once yeah look. yeah yay this is i mean we're gonna make good money on this and hopefully all the pieces are in there i look, mean this looks like a nightmare to list though I know. honestly look here's where the parts are look okay. at that look at all these little oh pieces oh my god <laughs> Hmm. I have a feeling we want to get this stuff up since Christmas is so close. So, I don't. I don't think we're going to get it all up in time. Uh, even if we can do two a day, we still won't have them up in time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 
I think um, definitely I'm gonna need to be out here to help you with these big ones, but maybe some of these smaller things that don't have all the little pieces. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, go ahead and get that. I, the, the, because I don't mind packing this and shipping it and stuff, but inventory and everything, I know. that just ain't my, that ain't my bag, I man. Know. So I'm hoping I can get out here tomorrow and help him with that. But I think you could probably list this and this. This, oh. this is worth like 30 bucks i think or maybe this was 15 it was but it was worth listing you know i don't remember it's just a little uh, mug and plate to leave cookies for santa um yeah and then i don't know if you saw we have some more over here like these are three mr christmas things this is like some uh spinning teacups okay uh, a little ice skating rink another one um this also is something I'd never heard of. These two here, I think this, no, that's Mr. Christmas. So yeah, this brand here is called um, Christmas Magic. It's by Maisto, I think. Or Maisto. Some, Maisto. I don't know. They're, they're, they do, um, that company does a lot of die cast cars and stuff. Okay. So yeah, those, if those are a good bolo, if you ever see those, um, people are even selling these as replacement parts, all the little pieces. So. So if we do have any that don't work or we we're missing a bunch of pieces, right. we could still part part right. them out you and can still, part out pieces. Yeah. still make good. So that's why I felt good picking them up and not knowing whether they work or not. Um, just, oh no, this is Maisto here. I don't remember. Anyway, yeah. I don't remember who and This made one that. right here is a Nesco. Yeah, I do remember that. But, but yeah, this yeah, is cool. It's like a fair. Look at this. No, it is cool. Yeah. So. I mean, there's lots of stuff to to lose and lots of stuff that has to work and lots of stuff. To, when but, I see complex stuff, I see stuff that can go wrong. I know, I do too, but I felt good about them still having all the boxes. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. That's that's what's tricky about Facebook Marketplace. You never know what you're going to get. The boxes are probably worse than you thought from the photos, huh? They are. Um, you can't really tell, huh? A photo doesn't... But in my... In my um, experience, people that keep their stuff in the boxes usually like to try to make sure they keep everything together and take care of it. So that's good. Um, and like I said, the guy said they worked, but we've been lied to before. So <laughs> we'll see. It would be w weird to keep this many things that didn't work. Yeah. But who knows? And also, it wasn't his stuff. So mother-in-law. Yeah, I guess he. The last time he saw them put up, they were working. I guess. Right, he don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he was a guy, a hunting guy. Hunting guy? Okay. <laughs> hunting guys don't know nothing. Don't. Well, what, the, what does that mean exactly? They're, I guarantee you they're not setting all this stuff up. No. <laughs> so, anyways, I uh, thought, I think Candace, Candace made a good little buy. She's trying. I'm trying. And I think you did good here. It's just, it's I'm, just. I'm so frustrated though. Like, there's this other buy I'm working on. And the woman messaged me back, yeah, they're available. And Sunday morning, she's like, we can meet today. I said, okay, anytime's good for me. What time's good for you? Didn't hear back from her. A couple hours later, I'm like, okay, how about 3 o'clock? Didn't hear back from her. It's just so... You never did hear again? I never did, and it's so frustrating. It is. Uh, you know, and she lives like two towns over, but she was willing to meet halfway. So that was a good sign to me that she offered to meet halfway. I didn't ask. And um, and then she just kind of blew me off. It was the weirdest thing. Yep, it's it's not uncommon to just get ghosted. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> for just, no reason. <laughs> it's frustrating. So, yeah, you did good though. We're gonna make some money here. We're gonna have to do a lot of work for it. But in the meantime, yeah. before I got sick and then I got out there again today, I've been like just sitting on the couch, um, doing drafts of the Walmart pens. I yeah. guess Bonnie probably I, told y'all about that. Yeah, I did. So I got back on that today just to so we can try to get some listings going, get some activity in the store, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, now that Candace has visited us, visited us, <laughs> it's time to go. So thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.